Developing story here. You know, it's been 45 hours since that natural gas pipeline exploded. It was isolated hours after it blew up, but it continues to burn this morning. The pipeline's owner, Energy Transfer, is helping families still out of their homes. Our Kathy Hernandez is live in Deer Park for us this morning with the latest. Kathy. Good morning, Sophia and Owen. Yes, crews uh, pushed us further back from the fire, but you can still see that it is a lot smaller than what it started at and also what we saw yesterday. The fire was above those fast food restaurant signs, that Taco Bell and that water burger as well. People here tell us that it lit up the entire sky when it first happened, but since it's still burning, it's not safe for those families to return home. The owner of the pipeline energy transfer is paying for those residents to stay at hotels for a second night. I heard the boom and the hiss and I'm like, this can't be it. And then when the blinds, the blinds literally lifted off the window and pushed my chair back. This really makes you want to go home after all this and go, is it really worth the next time, whenever the next time is? Scary moments. Investigators say someone in an SUV crashed through a fence here on Spencer and hit an above ground valve. That was Monday morning. Families say they heard a loud boom and felt their homes shake. Officials say five homes were damaged and four people were injured. Homes and businesses closest to the pop line were evacuated, including the Linhart family. The mom says her kids used Spencer Highway to get to school and could have been hurt. It's just a nightmare and knowing that, like she said before, my son and, sorry, I'm about to cry, my daughter were going to college and had they waited a few minutes, they probably would have been gone. So it's that scary. So back to your question with my husband, maybe moving is a good possibility because that's way too close for home. We still don't know right now if the car crash into the pipeline infrastructure that came before the fire was intentional or if the driver survived. They have ruled out terrorism. City leaders say they won't be able to get to that SUV until the fire is completely out. The evacuation area shrunk yesterday as hazmat crews and firefighters prepare to search home by home once it's safe. You can see Spencer Highway is still closed right now from Canada Road to Luella Road. That is uh, right here by the San Jack College. So be aware of that closure. In the meantime, of course, the investigation continues and families remain out of their homes. Back to you. All right, Kathy Hernandez, live for us. Appreciate it, Kathy.